So we'll do a quick video on how to use the cable land machine by Portable Winch. Some of you all requested some information about it. But what I'm gonna show you here is basically, um, it's got a 800, mil, 800 meter spool of wire. You can see the handle here is adjustable. You can adjust it left, uh, just a little bit off to the right and also up and down for different height of people and also a different amount of pressure that you might want to use. It also has a kickstand. And on the front there, there's an adjustable guide so you can determine the distance off, the, off a, a lawn or a distance close to something that you can use, okay? So it's a bit noisy, but I'm gonna just do a quick video and show you how easy it is to use, okay? So notice that it has adjustable uh, pieces on the spindle that the, um, the wire's on, the reel of wire is located on. And uh, so you can adjust that for different types of spools of wires that you have. And uh, we'll get started here really fast, okay? So, also, you notice here, I have, I have placed right there a staple just as an anchor point. Because once you start moving with the machine, the wires don't wanna actually run with the machine. So you need an anchor point. What you can do is just have enough wire wrapped around the staple for when you're going to connect to the charging station. So I don't have a charging station out here right now and I'm not gonna go very long with this machine because I do have a uh, boundary wire and a guide wire in the proximity of where I am right now. So um, let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you that real fast how easy to use this machine, okay? So this is engages it and I'm doing one hand, but you can see it actually scissors and buries that wire down into the ground, okay? So, I'm going to stop it here for a second. So, I'm going to stop here for a second. So, as you can see here where the wire is, that'll fill back in. You can walk right over it. But again, here's my anchor point. That I told you about so I would have enough wire used left over on this to actually run it to the, the charging station but as you can see here it's buried on the ground and uh, and then that's where I stopped for this short demo uh, also you can adjust the height of, of the handle as well and then there's also a lever underneath here so I can turn it also to the right from working with branches a low hanging uh, branches I can also adjust it as well be off to the side a little bit okay so I just want to show you a quick couple points about the cable in machine um, you're a Husqvarna installer for the automower this is a great investment to have uh, also has a kickstand on the side here on the front so there's your kickstand also you have an adjustable guide as well that you can use so you're getting close to things as well okay so then you just hold that down and there you go okay it also folds down for, for tr quick transport. Um, a couple of things you want to think about is when you use the cable land machine and when you cut the wire right here, because a lot of times you're dealing with mud and soil, this can get filled up this hole if you store the machine away and haven't left enough wire out. So then you have to, you'll find yourself having to rethread wire through here and put water in here to soften up the mud. That's dry from the prior usage. So make sure you leave enough wire out uh, when you get this machine, follow the manufacturer's instructions because it, it does not come together. You have to put it together and assemble it, okay? So this is James signing off. Take care, guys.